All right, welcome to Walleye Workshop. We're at the 2012 ICAST show in Orlando, Florida. I'm in the Minn Kota Humminbird booth, and they've introduced a new product. It's called the iPilot Link. And what that does is it links your uh, Humminbird unit directly to your Minn Kota Tarova iPilot. And it allows you to do several things. You can uh, use your GPS to go right to one of your spot lock locations. You can use your GPS to go and track contour lines. You can use your GPS to go and track one of your preset tracks that you might have logged in several days earlier or the day before where you caught a lot of fish. So what we're going to show you real quick is how to follow contour lines uh, on the Lake Master map that's already loaded on the SD card here. And this is Paul Salmon from Minkota Motors. Motors. Absolutely. Okay, right, Scott, so what we'll do is we'll take the active cursor on the Hummingbird Fish Finder and we'll put it right on top of the 27 foot contour line here. We'll hit go to. It's now asking me, do I want to follow the contour? I'll say yes. That gets followed up by asking me, what direction do I want to go? The orange direction or the gray-blue direction? For today, we'll choose the orange direction. And I'll turn the propeller on on the, on the Minn Kota up front. And we'll zoom in here a bit. What you see is the boat traveling toward that contour line, and as soon as it intersects that contour line, it'll turn left and begin to follow that contour. And as you see, the motor on the front is turning. Now we're heading the right direction. We'll follow that contour line at 27 foot of water, all the way around that Lake Master chart on whatever body of water you're on. Now one additional feature here, Scott, as well, is that the fish may be at 27 feet. However, you may not want to have the boat on 27 feet. You may want to be offset from that a little bit so that you can cast to them. Okay. So what we've added here is what we call a contour offset. So what I'll do here is I'm going to move that line that the boat's going to follow, I'm going to move that 20 feet off from that contour. And again, we'll zoom in here. So this is the contour that, uh, that we've identified that we want to follow. This yellow line here is the actual boat path that we want the system to take. And what you notice here is the boat is now veering off to follow that yellow line at a 20 foot offset from that contour. Which possibly what you can do is you know the fish are in that one depth, you can run your planer boards out to the side 20 feet and the lines will be going right on top of the uh, fish. Absolutely. This is a great new feature. It'll make fishing a lot easier for you guys. There's a lot more information to know about the iPilot link. Go to humminbird.com and you can find out more information. Well, how about we play with this a little longer? Sounds good, Scott. All right, thanks for watching.